Hello everyone watching on YouTube and welcome back to Sly 3, Honor Among Thieves. I remembered to start on this screen instead of the collection screen today. So let's get back into a Cold Alliance. I think what I want to do today is I want to finish Cold Alliance. After we're done with Cold Alliance, we're going to do the challenges for Fly to Fancy and maybe a couple in Cold Alliance as well and then go to the episode after that. So let us continue. Yami, welcome to stream. How's it going? Okay, so we... Right, last time we did the big general Sal fight and all that, and we're in like the second half of the episode now. It's all coming back to me. I want push attack level three. The next episode is the episode where you can get money really easily, so we're gonna like blow through getting all of these upgrades really fast. I feel like I've done less pickpocketing in this playthrough than I normally do when I play this game, because I normally buy more stuff than this. I'd like the Fists of Flame. I want Push Attack level 3 for sure. Fists of Flame and Temporal Lock are both pretty good. Adrenaline Burst would be nice. What jobs do I have here? What do we have to do? Right, the Vampire Demise stuff. And then we have a Battery of Peril. Oh, Battery of Peril is fun. Let's start with that today. And then the Vampire one we get to play is the Panda King, which is pretty fun, but I remember it being a really long mission, I think? Hey, Bentley, are you and Murray finished fixing up the van? I'm afraid we'll need a new power source. The old polycellular battery has lost its core. Okay, is there one around here I can steal for you? Penelope's aerial reconnaissance has located a candidate. But due to the delicate nature of the work, I should be the one to decouple it. So, what? Can I help out here at all? Stay close. I'll need you for charging the battery. You can't just, like, plug it up? Like, plug it next to the- into the wall socket or something? Seems like charging the battery should be the easiest part, to be honest. If anything, you should have Sly come along as, like, your guard to, like, defend you. You see, the funny thing is, is I played this game 47 times, so I know how we're gonna charge the battery and how ridiculous it is. But also, I can't wait because it's really fun. Excuse me, pardon me, coming through. What the heck is this battery doing here, chat? What is this for? Hello, my pretty. Does it have a kanji on the green Is part the battery there? complete? Yes, it just needs to be charged. Seems like that might be a problem in these parts. Well, if we took it the rail, let's have it to <laughs> Hold it right there, Sly Cooper. Don't move or I'll zap you. Sorry, Carmelita. Gotta go. I love this. Get out of here. We don't need your kind around here, you you tiger with a giant blade. I love this part of the game because it is literally like, hey, guess what? You're Carmelita trying to kill Sly now. Have fun shooting him to death. Where'd you go, buddy? Hey, get back here. I'm not done with you, Cooper. Playing as Carmelita is already really fun. Getting to play as Carmelita, literally chasing Sly down and zapping him is just, it's hilarious. My, how the turntables, Cooper. Yo, no wonder Carmelita has so much trouble shooting this guy. It's actually not that easy. Unless you get right up at him. Cooper. There you are, Cooper. I love the noise Sly makes. If you get right up next to Sly like this, you can kind of stun lock him if no enemies come up to get in your way. Why do you ignore Sly and go for Carmelita? What's up with that? What's up with that, huh? Whoop. Cooper. There you are. No, you're not getting away from me. Okay, maybe you're getting away from me. Go away, all of you. Where did he go? There he is. Excuse me, Senor Cooper. Please don't paraglide away. Okay, he was going for Sly there. Sly? Hi, how's it going? Nope. No escape for you. He's got so much health. Interpol, I've captured Sly Cooper. Repeat, 
captured Sly Cooper, requesting extraction unit. Over. Nice acting, Sly. The battery is fully charged. Plug it into one of the main light outlets to stabilize it. Then we'll attach it to the van. But be careful. Now that the battery is full, it won't absorb any more of Carbolita's shots. No, really. It was an easy capture. I don't deserve a medal. He was practically... Practically, uh, lying to you. See you later, Carmelita. Cooper! <laughs> I love that you can hear Carmelita in the distance being upset. I also like how they do that bit where she's like, he was practically, and then her dialogue stops because, like, she's piecing it together that she's been bamboozled. See you later, suckers. Slap that bad boy down. It won't take long for the battery to stabilize. It better not take long, because I'm sure Carmelita is finding her way back to me right now, and she is not going to be pleased. Okay, that's long enough. The battery should be stable. Pick it up and plug it into the safe house outlet. On my way. Ooh, there she is. Yeah, she's making her way downtown, all right. See you later, sucker. My favorite part of this mission is getting to paraglide away from Carmelita at the very start and just hear, hear her be mad in the background. Go, go, go. Oh, dear. That's not good. Never mind. We're fine. I immediately walked off the edge again because I didn't know where I was going to respawn. Why are there so many of you here? Nope. Hacker voice, we're in. Oh, there's Carmelita. She found me. And I'm really low on health. Help. Nope. Hey, Carmelita, don't come up here. Excellent. The van is ready to go. You rock, Sly. Mission accomplished. Ah, that's a fun one. Hey, do I get full health if I go in here? I hope so. Kari, thank you so much for subbing at tier two for 28 months on a 28 month streak. Greatly appreciated. Sorry to hear that your internet's been bad lately. But it's uh, good to have you back. How you been? You foolish tiger, get out of here. This map is great for all the missions. It's a pretty good map. Episode four is good. Episode three, four, and five are all very good. Episode one and two are good as well, but three, four, and five I definitely like more, I think. Although two does have a lot of my favorite missions in it. It's, it's hard, man. Sly 3 is a really good game. It also has less episodes than uh, than Sly 2, so I feel like in Sly 2, it's really easy for me to be like, oh yeah, like these two or three episodes, they're good, but they're clearly not my favorites. Episode 1 in Sly 3 is absolutely like, yeah, not my favorite. Clearly, it's episode 1, like, come on. But, uh, I feel like it's a lot harder to point out, like, oh, I definitely like this one less than all the others, you know? Vampiric Demise. That's it. One of Sal's fireworks stashes for the ceremony. This lock looks pretty standard, but I'll need some help carrying the goods. The Panda King is the man for the job. He's strong, good with explosives, and capable of dealing with multiple opponents. Once we get enough fireworks, he should be capable of blowing the hopping vampire crypt sky high. Look, Bentley, I know you believe in the guy, but I don't trust him yet. You don't have a choice. He's the only man for the job. I'll go get him and send him your way. <laughs> I don't trust him. You don't have a choice. Get over it. <laughs> See you later, Kari. Enjoy the VODs. This is it, Panda King. We need you for a field mission. Sly's trying to break into a fireworks cache and he needs help. Fine. I will be there presently. You may go. Look, I don't mind telling you I'm putting my neck on the line here. We're all counting on you. I will mind your neck. I love the Panda King in this game, man. Hello, old friend. I am about to work alongside Sly Cooper, and I cannot carry you with me on the journey. You fool! This is your chance for revenge. He humiliated us, ruined us, made us weak. Humiliation was a crossroads. I have chosen to walk the path of humility. Humility that cost you your daughter. 
Destroy Koopa now! Did, I don't know how to tell the Panda King this, but this isn't how mirrors are supposed to work. He's got some kind of demon mirror in his house. He should, he should get that looked into. My mind is fractured. No action can be taken until he and I are in unison. Cooper is at the center. Sly must live. I actually don't remember what the right answer is here. It's either Jing King or teach us humility. I don't remember which. I'm pretty sure so that you may live is wrong. I, as we know, I always try and get the wrong dialogue options because I want to see all the dialogue choices. Because you don't get punished for getting wrong dialogue picks in this game. Without Cooper, who would you have to hate? Your reason to cling inside my mind would be gone. No! If you killed Cooper, it is you who would disappear. I would take your place. I really can't remember. I'm gonna go with Save Jing King here because I think the like evil Panda King will say like we could save her on our own if we just like went crazy with it or something. I don't remember. Without Cooper and his associates, I stand little chance of rescuing Jing King. Little chance! Allow yourself to dip into my hateful fury, and we can save Jing King single-handed. Such an action would cost many lives. Your path of moderation will cost you, Jing King. Okay, I got it right. Let's go. I love how intense the evil Panda King is here, by the way. I really do love the Panda King in this game. Cooper is a teacher of humility. We have slain his parents, yet he manages to trust us. By studying him, we will become whole. I have no desire to join with my weaker side. You are failure. I am the strength that used to be the once glorious Panda King. You are strong, and I am humble. But only through cooperation will we become the father Jing King needs. The yin and the yang. If strength were all that mattered, Sao would be an ideal son-in-law. Very well. Cooper shall live. I love this scene. That's such a good one. I like that a lot. When the good panda king is like, if it's just strength that matters, then just let Sao have our daughter, and then evil panda king is like, all right, you got me there. Fear not, Cooper. I shall not kill you this day. Um... Ditto. <laughs> I know you've been out of the game for a while. Maybe you should use this time to brush up on your old skills. First things first, here's how to fire at objects. Center the camera on a target and hold down the L1 button to load fireworks. Release the button to launch them. The explosion noise is so loud. By the way, the Panda King said that he helped slay Sly's parents? I don't think they ever mentioned Sly's mother once in any Sly Cooper game. I was under the impression that he never knew his mom and it was just his dad and the Fiendish Five killed his dad. Excellent. Remember to sweep over multiple targets with the right analog stick. You've always been capable of attacking large groups of foes. Now try targeting these two vampires in different locations. So want to explain to me how Bentley is controlling these vampires right now? I do love the Panda King's style of combat of just firework spam. Nice. The more fireworks you prime, the more damage they'll do. A full pack does double damage. Now try to destroy that gravestone by focusing your full power on it. This gravestone? Or do you mean this? This looks more like a random door to nowhere than it does a gravestone. If you hold L1 too long, it hurts you, by the way, which I demonstrated earlier. Now you're ready for anything. Sly must be done by now. He'll need help carrying the fireworks from the cache. Okay, I'm done with this one. You handle this stuff, I'll head out for the next cache. Excellent. I'll make good use of these. 
Let's get it. Take that sucker. Burn. Ow. I tried to quick fire just to stun him. Please stop. All right, I hate you. I'm up here now. What is happening? I'm getting juggled? Stop this. Die. I've never, that I can remember, had something like that happen. Panda make thing go boom, my favorite panda. He's a pretty great panda. He's up there with like the, the panda greats. Like Poe from Kung Fu Panda. Panda King's up there. Die. Sly was left as an orphan after Panda King and his crew killed Sly's dad, so they could have easily killed his mom at the time. They totally could have, but they never mentioned killing his mom that I can remember. In Sly 1 or 2, Sly said both his parents were killed, or I'm missing something. I don't think so. I'm pretty sure they just said his dad was killed. I don't think they ever mentioned his mom, unless I'm forgetting. I don't think they ever mentioned Sly's mom. They just say that the Fiendish Five killed his dad. Dead. Bum, 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 bum. I don't think it's like, I don't think it would be ridiculous to think like, oh, they probably killed his mom too, but to me it always came off as, oh, Sly's mom was already dead and then they killed his dad. Oh, that that pig no longer exists. The undead hordes are on to you. They're closing in. Oh no, they're closing in. Hi there. So now we get to do this mission. I don't know how I feel about this mission, to be honest. I do like playing as the Panda King, and this is one of the missions that you get to play as the Panda King in. But I do feel like this mission is just really long. And fairly repetitive at times, because it's just like a couple of zombies have a specific spawn, a few specific spawn points and then they just keep spawning there for a little while. So you just do this at like three different locations a couple of times. Dead. One more cache to go. We're doing great. Think the game's just focused on his dad because his dad was the inheritor of the Raccoonus? Yeah, I agree. I think they should have focused on his dad. But it's just weird that I think the only time Sly's mom is even somewhat mentioned is the Panda King here says like, yeah, we killed them both. When Sly 1 and 2, which both explain like what happened to Sly's dad, don't mention his mom at all. It's kind of weird. More hopping vampires! My scanners! They're everywhere! Honestly, I think when they did Sly 3, they wrote that line for the Panda King without realizing like, oh, wait a minute, he didn't kill both his mom and dad. We only ever said he killed the dad, but they just didn't think about it because it's one line from the Panda King in an, and I think it was in an optional dialogue thing, or it might've been the dialogue that was the correct one, I don't remember. But just like one little dialogue bit from the Panda King in one mission, so they didn't even like fact check it. Someone has dropped like a paragraph in my chat. I do not have time to read it while I'm trying to kill all these zombies. You were spared because of the, the archway. Hey, die. I wasn't sure if that would kill them, but I had to quick fire because the archway was gonna protect them if I waited longer. That might hit? Yeah, we're good. You foolish vampires that don't even have a foolish magic sword. That's a lot of vampires. Panda King can only lock on to four targets at a time. That enough? Nope. Dead. Hi, guys. How you doing over there? Oh, I see your one little buddy right there. Lock on to that fool. I love how colorful the fireworks are as well. I mean, it makes sense. They're fireworks, but you know what I mean. The different levels of it have, like, different, uh, pyrotechnics involved. I'm a big fan. Didn't hit those guys, unfortunately. You good there, Sly? Hey, lock on to him. Thank you. 
just in time. Gamer moment. All right, things are getting slightly dicey. Honestly, more than I usually feel like this mission gets. Oh, we're not done yet still? Holy cow. Die. Not bad. All right, you guys gotta get out of here. Look out, Cooper. Just those three? I think it's just you guys who are left. See you later. I heard more. 